Hey you Slayers out there, DTM Shadow Slayer here, and if you want to download the brand new EDO Pro, this is a tutorial on how to exactly do that. I've already got it installed, and I've got to say, it is amazing. I've got Tristan here with me as well. He's already been trying Hello. out some of the 3v3 and all the other amazing parts of this. Uh, and what would you say, what would, would you give out of five stars so far, Tristan? Five out of five. No, four out of five because they don't have anime seal of Calcos. They do not, and we really would like that back <laughs> for the roleplay. So, Project Ignis, if you are watching this, bloody get that back in. <laughs> anyway, uh, here is the here's the tutorial on how to do it. Uh, if you got if you're playing on Windows, here's your Windows installs here. If you're playing on Apple, here's your Apple ones. If you're playing on Linux, for whatever reason you would, there is the. There's a lot of people uh, playing on Linux. Is Linux better? I mean, I prefer Windows. I mean, there's everyone's You prefer Windows. It doesn't matter. It doesn't but matter. also, this is a tutorial on how to install the anime textures as well. Yes, it is. So first off, if you want to download it, all your downloads are here. The way you've got to download it is you've got to go to Project Linux's or Project Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, as it used to be known as, uh, Discord. The link to their Discord is in the description. You go over to their downloads. The downloads are all here. You select your preferred one. For me, it is Windows. So I clicked on Windows Installer. That will then take you over to this page to here. Mega. On Mega. And then you click download. I've already got it downloaded. So all you do is you simply click download. Then you go over to your downloads. Uh, Which I guarantee yours is full of shit. So probably was a bad idea. It is full of shit. You are not wrong there. So you go to downloads. I then cut it and pasted it into my designated Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro folder. Which is over here in YouTube. In games. Down here. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. And then, this is what you'll have downloaded, is this file right here. Uh, this file right here. So you click on this file. You click Run. And then you click I Agree. Uh, once Stall you... to yep. see Project Inc. Yes, once you click I Agree, it'll ask you to do a readme. You can or cannot read it. Uh, it will just reopen it. You then close it. It will then take you over to your local C drive, which it will be there. For me, it's on my SSD. It's wherever your preferred hard drive is. <laughs> And then you can play. It's as simple as that. Uh, but. Gonna... But what, Tristan? But what? But you're going to have to show them how to install the anime textures now. I am. I am. Uh, first off, I'm just going to show them, though, what Project Ignis will look like. This is what you should have right here. It's the exact same as Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. If you played Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, you go onto servers. Uh, if you want to, you can click host to do your own room. If you want to. Find well, some... except for it's better, because there's AI. There you can do AI. AIs now. Uh, anyway, now for. How to install anime textures. So, uh, Tristan has very happily prepared a link from earlier. Uh, we we're talking about Yonderi Dev. If you're wondering what that is over there. Um, so, to install anime textures, you will need this link. Link will be in the description. Because that we can distribute. <laughs> that we can. So yeah, uh, Project Ignis. So it is beautiful so far. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, anime textures. You go over to here. It will take you to this page. Uh, you then click download. It'll take you to this. It page. will then download a very, very large file. Yes. It's over a gig large. Yes, it is. Anyway, it'll then take you to this page, which you click download on. Uh, it should very quickly download because it is a zip, not the main file. Uh, my download speed is utter garbage, so I'm going to get back to you guys when that has downloaded. Uh, Slayers, whilst that's still downloading, something else that Tristan reminded me of is to disable VSync. Uh, because that wasn't an option in the previous game. Yeah. So, if you want more than 30 frames per second, there's this little tick here that says V-Sync. Requires reload. You just uncheck that. Click and then enter 60 frames. Uh, oh, and then 60 frames. No, no, it, it's default. I said if it's yeah. not 60 frames, make yeah. it 60 frames. So then you click uh, Apply and Reload. It'll reload everything. And boom, done. Simple. You now have more than 30 frames. So enjoy those smooth frame rates. Okay, so, uh, Slayers, I've now downloaded uh, the uh, pics. I've taken the file out there. So you simply go into the zip file, which uh, will be in here. You, it will take a little while to open because I have a large disk. You click, I'm not going to do it myself because I've already done it. You click this, you extract it, uh, you extract to this exact folder. And uh, once you have loaded up your EDO Pro, a little pics folder will appear here. All you simply do is you override that folder with this, by which you extract it, and you extract it to here, and it will just simply override that all on its own. And there you go. You are ready to go with EDO Pro with anime textures. If you guys have any questions about how to do this, just let me know in the comment section down below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. 
And if I don't know something, I'm sure one of the people I work with on the roleplay will. So, or was... bug, or bug Allen. Yeah, all that. All well, that being said, uh, enjoy Easier Pro. I hope this was clear enough for you, and we will see you all in the next episode of Door de France, which should be up within the next couple of days.